must also honor those whose resilience continues to call for an end to the legacy of racism and discrimination that denies the full human dignity of every person. Emancipation Day, therefore, must be more than donning African clothing and accessories. There are many who have spoken about the African communities in a manner that does not behoove the community. We must, therefore, profess and believe in the spirits of our ancestors, but we must also understand the reality of what faces us today. Emancipation, therefore, is a day for celebration. Emancipation, therefore, is a day when all the vestiges of the spirit of freedom must be made whole. Emancipation, therefore, is a time that we must cherish and a time we must respect each other's views and beliefs, never succumbing to resentment or hate, never succumbing to resentment for what took place, but always believing in the inalienable right of all peoples. Freedom must never be something we arrogate to ourselves whilst denying the same to others. One people, one earth, let's cultivate a rebirth. Think of all the things we could achieve, the greatness, the positivity, the peace. Huh. With all this history and backstory being said, I have given my opinion. I think we need to show a greater appreciation for this country's emancipation. Because listen, nobody could take one race anymore. There's no such thing as a lineage that's pure. Our ancestors cultivated this web that we continue more and more, a mixing pot of every race under the sun. And you telling me, all are we, can be one? Thank you. For 400 years, no one over. All them superpowers tried to invade Africa. Yes, they went down there with all the lust and the greed. But don't care how they try, they still can't succeed. Yes, they kill and they kill and keep killing But the more that they kill, the more they see coming But when they try and they try and they can't make hand with African They just pack up their bag and they gone, they gone to the land Why? The more Africans they gone down Yes, the more Africans will come The more warriors that they kill Yes, the more we see come and stay They kill more come. They kill Juju more come. They kill Ashanti more come. I know what to see more come. Oh, What I'm believing What I'm believing The more Africans that they gone down More come, more yeah. come. Yeah. Stop the boy, Mr. Fiddler Oh, ha, ha. I want to thank all our ancestors Who fight for we freedom so all that we can prosper never mind we had to take we name from we slave master today we had the best liar doctor and even contractor just take a good look at we prime minister the right honorable dr keith christopher rowley a perfect example of resilience and bravery but don't forget about his musical ability. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch me. Drag your boy, Mr. Fiddler. <laughs> 